Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a login page on Squarespace in 2024. So today, we're delving into an important feature of sites that requires user interaction. How to create a login page on Squarespace in 2024. A login page, of course, allows users to access exclusive content membership or personalized like experience on your website. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up a login page using Squarespace. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and log in into your Squarespace account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and basically type here squarespace.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen main screen. If you're logged in into your account, you'll find your icon here. If not, you'll find the login option instead here. Click on it to log in into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on get started to create an account or even click in here as example to create an account at the top or at the middle. If you don't know nothing about Squarespace, you can scroll down to read more information about it. And you'll find some frequently asked questions. This is like the most important part. So if you have one of those questions, you can pause the video. I'm just opening the answers for you so you can read this out and also this as an example. So for me here, I'll just go and access my account dashboard. You will have to do the same, or if you just created your account, you'll basically find yourself in here, which is the home page or dashboard page. Or if you logged in, just go and click on your account and click on dashboard. And here, of course, you'll be able to start and go and create a new website if you want. If you don't want to create a new website and you already have a website, just go and access that website. Because as we said, we would like to create a login page. Now, we'll have to go and add our page. To do so, go to the slash panel, click on websites, and this will take you to the pages section. So for me, I'll just go and delete some pages that is not important. For example, let's just delete this one, let's delete this one. Yeah, let's just let it say as it is. Now, go, just go and click on this plus button, Y, uh, to add a new page, because we wanna create a login page. So here you can choose the option of the page. It's a blank page, page layout, scheduling, blog, store, portfolio, events, video, course, uh, member sites, drop down, or link. If it's nothing of those, just go and click on a blank page. Of course, if you have a login page already like done and some specific URL, just lose, sorry, use this link option and simply just enter the link of that login page in here. And of course, just type here login page as example as name or whatever name you want. If you don't want to, so discard, you can simply go and start by creating a new page and I'll just name it login sorry so login page as simple as that and yeah now it should be created as you can see it's an empty empty page now we'll have to start adding our sections in it and our blocks in it and to do so just simply go in here and click on this edit option click on it and you'll be able to start editing your page or the login uh, page that we have so go and click on add section and you can of course add some sections to it. So you can add some sections that is already provided by Squarespace. But for us, a login page, as you can see, there's no login page in here. So we'll have to start by add a blank section. Now we'll have to simply go and add a block. As you can see, if we type here like login, sorry, login, we'll not find any results. So we'll basically have to go and create it by our own. For you, once you go and create like your new page and section, you can, of course, before even customize the page settings before, you can adjust the title, URL, and other settings as example. So you'll be able to do so by, as an example, let me just go and click on exits. Yes. And if we go here to settings, we'll be able to edit the page title, navigation, URL, enable the page, duplicate the page, save as home page, SEO of the page, social image, advanced. I'll be able to edit a lot of other stuff about it. So let me just go back to edit in here. Sorry, I did not save because I did not save. I forgot to. And now we will be able, of course, to add a login page. So we can insert insert a form block into your login page to create a login form. Squarespace, of course, provides from blocks that you can customize to include fields from uh, for email or username and password. This will serve as entry points for the users to log in. The form as an example, so let me just go here and click on form. As you can see, the form will be something like that. But this is, does not look like a login page. So you can simply go here and click on edit example and you'll be able to edit the contents the fields form as example as example so you'll be able to find the message 
like subject, email, name. You can add some fields as an example and make it as a login page. So you can add as an example like the name or the email. So the email we already have it. I'll have just to delete this name, delete the subjects, and delete this message. So we have this email, and we'll basically have to add the password or simply. As you can see, because they did not provide me here any password, so we'll have to just add maybe a checkbox or whatever it is, or if you don't want it, don't. So a login page, you can just log in with your email and click on submit to login. Once you do so, you'll be able to edit even the design of that as an example and make it however you want. So we have here some designs that you can choose from and even the storage. So you can connect, of course, your email where People will be logged in, as example, if they want to send you a message. Additional storage, if you want to connect to Google Drive, Zapier, MailChimp, and Google Recapture to log in even. If you want to, of course, the content, you'll be able to change it wherever, however you want. The form name, as example, uh, I don't know, just let's it like the login page, you need to form. Edit form field, we already did that. And the post submit, as example, so you can add some message or redirects, as example, to a specific URL you can do whatever you want for you of course you can configure the form settings to align with your website login requirements example and specify whether you want to collect email addresses username or both additionally you can customize any uh, confirmation messages or redirect after user submits the form as an example and you can if your website like includes some membership functionality so you can set up some uh, members area and access permissions that's require some password you can give the password just to the people who logged in or submit the form because this login page is just a form so of course squarespace also allow you to create members only content and control access to specific specific pages or sections on your site or even create some pages with some passwords or something like that and you can even customize of course the design as we said before all of this login page and even the whole page if you want to you can adjust like the colors of the page the fonts the layout to match the overall aesthetic uh, aesthetic uh, of your website and Squarespace of course design tools makes this process very easy and before making your login page live make sure to test the functionality of it to verify that users can successfully log in you can simply enter through a private window go to your website and test if it's working correctly if it is just simply once you're satisfied with it and if it's working just go and publish your site and oh sorry your login page with your website and you'll be good to go so there you have it you successfully learned how to create a login page on Squarespace space in 2024 this feature is essential for websites with membership areas or exclusive content so if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section happy websites building and see you in the next video and of course if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this so thank you for watching and goodbye